It's the Christian and Frank show. There's nothing serious about me. Just nope. not ever. Not a thing. Not. No, zero. And I mean, I, I, well, I am suffering from probably a mild concussion, but we can, we can talk about all oh, the things we Lord. need to talk about. All right. When am I not suffering from a concussion? <laughs> well, I mean, there's different types, I'm sure. I feel like I exhibit concussion oh, symptoms regularly. Good God. Um, you can find us on all of the podcasting ways to podcast and all the places you can listen to podcasts, yeah. Spotify, um, YouTube Music. Are we on YouTube Music? We're on YouTube Music because YouTube Music has YouTube podcasts. That would make sense. Yeah. I, I, this, I'm going to have to add that to the list because yep. I knew that we were on Google Podcasts and I knew yeah. that we were on... So therefore, that would be all YouTube the Google products. YouTube Music used to be like Google Play. Yeah. Yeah. So that so are they picking up the audio? They, they've they picked up the audio. Clever, I clever, know. clever people. Mm -hmm. So that puts us on that. And of course, we knew that we were on the Amazon family of mm -hmm. um, Amazon and Audible Pod. Yeah. And oh, and if you would like an Audible trial, a 30-day Audible trial, you can go to audibletrial.com slash Christian Frank. Did you. you know that? I did, in fact. I'll be darned. In fact, I was talking about it over the weekend uh, with a friend who said he was going to sign up just to give us the business. Okay. Uh, but he's so busy listening to every other thing in the world that mm -hmm. he hasn't decided, he doesn't have time to join Audible, Audible yet. I, under, I, I do understand that. But because I'm, you have to listen to everything. Yeah, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. So anyway, but he says he's going to uh, you know, make sure he uses our code when he does sign up <laughs> in the very near future, which is audibletrial.com slash Christian and Frank. Yeah. And please find us on YouTube. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, we would love it if you did. We really need your help in that regard. We did get a couple of new subscribers mm -hmm. the other day, but I think, I think we're about to, uh, I hope, uh, radically increase because... When we mention uh, some of our regulars on the show mm -hmm. uh, who listen or watch. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've told you about Aaron Campbell who listens. And then I found out that Brian Hornback listens on Apple. So we mentioned this on the show, right, right. last week. We mentioned that uh, Brian Hornback listens on Apple. And so he tweets out, mm -hmm. how ironic that um, Christian and Frank mentioned me listening to Apple Podcasts on the one day that I needed a visual fix of Krisha, so I chose to watch it on YouTube. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> like, there we go. Because you're on the hiatus, the social I am, hiatus. It's I still am. going well. It's going really well. I honestly, I, the, I, mm, Maybe if I miss anything, I miss Twitter, mostly just because that's where it's fun to like watch sports news and yeah, yeah. see like quick clips of stuff. And it's like easily accessible. Right. But not really. I don't miss it. Because I've taken a, an inspiration from you and I have not gone on a fast, but mm -hmm. a radical diet in terms of socials. Yeah. And I'm fine. You know, of course, I'm immediately filling it with more YouTube watching. <laughs> right. I mean, right. I started watching um, some mortician who has a YouTube show. Um, That's kind of fun. I've been she's cooking. interesting. Yeah, I've been watching cooking shows. There's a a YouTube cooking show called "You Suck at Cooking." Ac accurate, probably yeah. for most and, of us. In fact, I've got some stories about how bad I we suck at cooking. <laughs> it's delightful. It's, <laughs> it's funny really you fun. should mention. <laughs> <laughs> funny you should mention it. I do indeed suck at cooking. <sighs> I'm making well, some vegetable soup in my new stock pot today. See, that's fantastic. Now, yeah. I, I gotta get, in Jerry's defense, the end result came out well. It's the mm -hmm. story that of the. Yeah. The mishmash. Well, tell me. So uh, we went to the... <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. Well, I, I also know we got to get updates on your windshield wipers and your mom My jeans concussion. or your concussion or whatever it is. Uh -huh. one, of those, one of those three things. Yeah. So uh, we went to the store after church and I was hungry and was hangry by the time mm -hmm. we were done. Mm-hmm. Because I hadn't eaten any breakfast, hadn't had any coffee, and now it's getting on 11 a.m. We went to 9 o'clock mass, it's now getting on 11, and we're still at the grocery store. How do you get up and start a day with no coffee? It's, I got up too late. I should have gotten up earlier. Oh, no. It's, it was a mistake. I've been tried to get up, have a cup of coffee before, mm -hmm. and just, it makes it more pleasant, but, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, in the long run, I mean, I, I can make it. You know, I used mm -hmm. to not think I couldn't, but I've gotten over that psychological dependence. Right. So I know I can make it a little ways. Anyhow, um, we're at the grocery store. Just, I think we only were supposed to get ice and gluten-free bread. Those okay. why, that's why we went. Mm -hmm. And they were out of gluten-free bread. Ooh. So a hundred plus dollars later on groceries, <laughs> we're going up and down the aisle. We're looking yeah. at the brochure. Yeah. And I see that some meat is on sale. Ooh. Chuck Roast. Yeah. Uh, which I think used to be a radio DJ. Yes. Probably. Absolutely. And <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> anyways, on sale. Eating ground round in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they were oh, they were something. And pork chop their producer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we met good. them at the convention, didn't we? Yeah. And yeah. string beans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
That was the giggle girl that would come in every once in a while. Oh, guys. And do traffic. Yeah. yeah. Poor dear. So. Um, <laughs> we could do that forever. I know. Thank you. And scene. <laughs> so the meat's on sale for three forty nine a pound. I assume Ooh. that's a good price okay, for this. I don't, I don't know. know either. But it's big. It's big. It featured on the ad. I'm like, look at this. And we see it and we just decide to buy it on a whim. And we decide um, that, hey, this would be good to have for dinner. Mm -hmm. So we come home, and we put it in the fridge, and we go about our day. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Yes, that's why we suck at cooking. Yeah. Because... That bad boy's got to cook for at least five, six hours. Which is why we had dinner at 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> but You couldn't have just done it the next day? Well, so here's what happens is... <laughs> We're having this conversation, and it's Jerry and I decided to go take a walk around the neighborhood at four in the afternoon. Uh -huh. We're starting to get a little hungry, uh -huh. and we're thinking, "Hey, we should probably get home and cook that roast." And then she's like, "I wonder how long it has to like cook. I think it's going to have to cook like four hours." Yeah. She thinks, and then she says, "We said, well, should we do it tomorrow?" I said, "Well, you're not going to get home from work until four o'clock tomorrow. So what difference does it make? Four o'clock today, four o'clock tomorrow." <laughs> so was it delicious? Yeah. Um, At 10 well, p.m.? <laughs> yeah, what we did was um, we cut off the edges that were mostly cooked. It was so, they were softer. And then oh. put it back in oh. to cook for another hour, I thought. I oh. got to the point where I went to bed. In fact, I was actually, the recipe called for wine. Yes. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have a lot of wine. Right. I mean, you have you got your little liquor cabinet stash down there, but right. But we found uh, some wine that was made by Deacon Tim, and we got it at an auction. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was Merlot. In fact, I, I left the bottle uh, uh -huh. over there, uh -huh. uh, and it was it was good. In fact, I drank some of it. Did you? To the point where I had to go to bed now. <laughs> oh and, yeah. You and had, Jerry's sitting you up had with night -night juice. sitting up with the crock pot. <laughs> you can leave the crock pot going. Well, she did. I don't know. I guess she wants to watch that show where the crock pot killed everyone. Oh. But, um, well, so, I mean, but anyway, so, killer crock pot. so we have the Dateline special. You know, the show where the, the crock yeah. pot kills people. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. So, uh, but I'm, I'm helping. I'm helping. Not the brave little toaster should have jumped in and helped somebody. You would think. Mm. So I'm helping by making the whatever the sauce is. I've got, I'm, I've got some. I'm, I'm start whisking. I was there whisking. There you go. That's better. And it had. Um, <laughs> I guess it had some flour and it had some tomato paste and it had some. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, beef broth and it had some Worcestershire sauce and mm -hmm. some red wine. Mm -hmm. So I have to delicious. open the red wine and I and Jerry says, "Oh, I got this new. Uh, what do you call it?" Um, corkscrew yeah from um pampered chef uh-huh so it's in this fancy bag oh yeah those are fancy it's a tire bouchon okay. de cordedor anyway so oh, it has a, a foil cutter okay and then it has this uh fabulous um corkscrew uh-huh and where i'm so i'm reading the directions and i'm granted i'm a little bit uh frustrated by uh -huh. this corkscrew right and it gets to the point where it says um grasp trigger and um or once levers in down position pull up while keeping a firm grip so i pull up on the trigger and it breaks off and immediately in my hand oh so i don't know if i pulled the wrong thing maybe i'm supposed to pull this yes, part that's 100 percent. but i pulled pull. this other part oh that's not what and you pull. so now we have to find a pampered chef person um, oh yeah, because Jerry said they usually. Yeah, that's are this good. is the part that removes the corky cork. Right. Right. So yeah. we got an old-fashioned corkscrew. You know, I that's all I use. When I was a kid, that's all I used. Yeah, um, I used to have you know the one that has like like you can find the ones they have the the knob on the top that's supposed to be easier like the yeah right. we have we have one that's what I think we ended up using. I have that. punched myself in the eye two times trying to open wine with that. And so I just use like the old school, doesn't even twist, like you have to manually twist yeah, it. Yeah, but I mean, just... I, ones that my parents had was a, mm -hmm. a metal screw and a wooden handle, and you would just crank yep. it in there and Rough pull. it up on there and pull. Yep. Because my parents it would have me, I think I've told you this many stories that not, I would Brand bartend, bartend oh. for many of their um, events, or like mm -hmm. as in dinner. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you can know. make a mean vodka gimlet. Well, yeah, I, they were more uh, brown liquor people. All right. Yeah, they yeah. liked their. Um, I, you know, Ryan ginger and scotch and soda mm -hmm. and things like this, and their sherry. Mm -hmm. So, I, but when it came to opening a bottle of wine, um, we had multiple t types of corkscrews. Mm -hmm. And as a young, you know, middle schooler, 
high schooler. I was mm-hmm. expected to be able to do that for them. Yeah. You know, that was yeah. family. Yeah. I just picked my mom up when she got arrested. <laughs> was my expectation uh-huh yeah and how'd that go and as a teen i mean it happened yeah. i actually told i told my friend the story the other day we passed by the baker peter house yeah it's supposed and, to be haunted uh it is it used to be a hospital no and way. when it was hawkeyes it used to have a door the original door that had bullet holes in it i believe that was still there the last time i went to ba- when it was baker peter's before yeah, it was it's Finn's. now Finns or something but the right? last time I, I we had a uh, some kind of radio promotion at baker peter's mm-hmm. and i got to go eat there for lunch probably were doing selling discounted coupons yeah and i saw the bullet holes they had still had them as recently as 10 years ago mm-hmm. you know yeah but i was telling in the story of when um my mom got into a little trouble there at baker I peter's was, yeah i was 15 didn't have a driver's license but I got a call from an officer asking me to come pick her up and give her a ride home because uh, she'd gone with a friend. So I got in her uh, car and drove there. Without a license. Without a license. But the cop had told you to do it, so kind of you had uh, permission. No, I'm sure that my mom told them that I was not the age that I was. Oh. I'm sure. Oh. Um, and so I picked up my mom uh, from from there and took her home. So she did not go to jail. That was that, the other option. That was nice yeah, of you. you know. You do what you can. <laughs> well, do you know, can you believe we've made it to 80 episodes so far? No, I honestly can't. Why not? That's a rhetorical question. I, oh. How do you feel about us making it to 80 episodes? It feels so good. Plus uh, a Thanksgiving special, plus a Christmas parade, plus a little Christmas bonus mm-hmm. nugget. We could have gone around the world. In 80 days. Yeah. Well, because we take weekends off, so yeah. really it's been more than yeah, 80 we could days. Have, we could have I mean, really gone around the world. Yeah. <laughs> we could have it's gone been, around the world and then some. Has it been 120 days? I think it has, because uh, September, um, October, November, December, January. So four months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tomorrow is our four-month anniversary Yay, of the uh, podcast. That makes me happy. Thank you. Four months. And tomorrow. what I was leading into that is one of our supporters this whole time has been our good friends at thebonezones.com. Don't forget the S. S. I'm still drinking. That's good. (laughs) Um, No, and you know, it's been kind of a crazy year for Dr. Bass and Bone Zones because as we've talked about several times, usually you guys would be out giving talks and he would be you mm-hmm. would be emceeing and he would be meeting and greeting and signing books yeah we and would that's do, not been a possibility all year we do at least two a month i mean one of my favorites was i guess now coming up on two years ago when we did the 60th anniversary of the big bopper yeah the um the plane crash the day the music died and that was on february 1959 so two years ago would have been the 60th anniversary mm-hmm. and we did this fantastic presentation about dr bass exhuming the big bopper yeah and uh, answering so cool. some mysteries. And that can be found in the book Beyond the Body Farm. And obviously, it's a lecture that we want to get out and do again. But mm-hmm. for the meanwhile, uh, we should probably have some Big Bopper merchandise now that I think That'd of it. That'd be cool. But you can get Dr. Bass merchandise. He's our own uh, local Big Bopper, if you and will. And you can get his Jefferson Bass novels, the fiction novels. You can also get his true-to-life, good, 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 including the Big Bopper. You said which book is it That's in? That's in Beyond the Body Farm. Yes. Yeah. So you can I- get that. I had to it reread signed. it and study for the presentation. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not going to out Dr. Bass because he does these pre- so many. Mm-hmm. And that, that's one of the ones that people very rarely we get to do. Big right. Bopper. Um, so he was saying, I think I have to re- back and check the file, but I think this and this. And I'm like, well, Dr. Bass, let me oh. tell you, I just reread the chapter. <laughs> ooh, ooh, pick me. <laughs> check out bonezones.com. Don't forget the S. They're such great supporters of us. We love them. And... <laughs> They even do things like give me kitchenware. How's so that working out? I'm making some vegetable soup tonight in my new pot. So you're a good cook, bad cook? I'm good cook. So even though you're watching YouTube that says you're a terrible cook. You suck at cooking. It's, you cook, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, and then I watch uh, Cooking with Bobbish, and he's very quiet. And he does. He's not one of those really creepy. A, it's not quiet. ASMR, no. What does that mean? I've heard people talk um, about this. It's, it's uh, I can't remember what it stands for. Okay. But it's very. Um, like it's very soothing to listen to. Yeah, it's, no, no, no. It's, annoying. it's not soothing. It's not not soothing. for you. Why, nothing soothes me. No, we we have to talk about that. Some show we need to talk about. Okay. Your whole nothing. What soothes does A M S A S M R A S M R stand for? Okay, stands for autonomous sensory meridian response. Yeah. Yeah, that stresses me. I mean, there are people with whole YouTube channels of ASMR. Oh, I've, I've heard samples of it. I mean, Bean plays it on his podcast just to drive people crazy. <laughs> it's awful. It's the worst thing. Okay. So, 
Uh, speaking of awful and the worst thing, um, I I know you noticed when I came in today that I've got a little bit of a black eye. Well, in in person, it's three dimensional. It's, right. It's, it's, it's head puffy. Yeah, it's puffy. I've got this mark on my nose. And you've got bangs to hide everything. And I've else. got bangs to hide my newest injury because when we no, is this a very special episode? Do I need to call someone? No. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> no. Um, you know, you know when <laughs> maybe now, a very special episode, an after school special. I mean, maybe, but not <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, maybe. I only joke because I I, I know what there was a f- strange, right. funny freak accident that happened. <laughs> but uh, here's the thing: Do you think that certain people are predisposed to? these very strange accidents or do you think that it's the way that in which one lives their life that puts them in place for this well uh, probably b probably the latter okay because i don't think um that you're cursed and i don't <laughs> think um yeah I'm, well, it, look, but i mean you if from or go ahead tell let the me story tell you, well let me tell you a previous story so right. that that you kind of understand that this is not the first time this has happened okay Um, when I was 16, I was going to Dollywood Splash Country with friends. We stopped at a gas station on Chapman Highway Mm -hmm. so I could use the payphone to call my mom and say, hey, my friend, Lisa's mom. I'm not available to pick you up from jail I'm not going to be able to pick you up. (laughs) Um, You're going to have to get a ride home. (laughs) No, I was calling to let her know that my friend Lisa's mom was driving us and would also pick us up. So I'm on the payphone. The gas station, those yeah, yeah. things that existed. Um, can you imagine using a payphone now like COVID land? Lula. I um, I was watching an episode of Underdog, and I'm trying <laughs> to like, explain Ooh. to Artie what a payphone is yeah. and why on this planet in a far land he can't change into Underdog until he finds a payphone mm-hmm. on an alien planet. Right. But yeah. It, it, go ahead. So yeah. I'm on the payphone, and I'm talking to my mom, and unbeknownst to me, there is a man... On one of those little zh- 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 take you up into the sky. Scissor lift. Yeah, he's on a oh, scissor- bucket lift. Or he's scissor on a bucket lift. lift. Bucket lift is. And right. he is changing the gas price numbers way up wow. in the sky. That's how they used to have to do it. And um, out of nowhere, but it turns out it was out of the sky, the number seven. Lucky big, seven. Big fiberglass number seven that was about this big yep. and about that tall. Yeah, big, you've got to be able to see it half a mile down the road. Hit me. No. And sliced my head open from here to here. And I ended up with staples and stitches. And a scar. And it knocked me like flat out on the ground. Knocked me out. And it was bleeding and the blood and it, because you know, head Head, wounds. Head wounds bleed profusely. Yeah, so, there are more. So actually, sometimes in the playground, you you think the the kid has died. Yeah. Because he's got a small cut. Yeah. So that happened to me. That's bad. I mean, I'm thinking of all and the things that reasons that shouldn't have happened. Like if you are in the bucket lift, uh-huh. you know, I mean, you can't nowadays, you can't go down the aisle in Sam's Club if they are, have the... Right, they block off the whole aisle. Block, yeah, yeah. It's because mm-hmm. of this exact reason. If they, with the forklift, were to drop a pallet on someone. Right. Yeah. Um. um so, but to me, like you just said, that it's in the way in which someone lives their life that puts see, them in these that positions. Doesn't, that doesn't match up. That's not Is that you. right. Because I was thinking about you know not securing an item that might tip over and fall on you would eventually lead to an accident down the road. Well, you, but you set it up in the past. and that's that is what happened. Yeah, uh, I was roughhousing and being silly, uh-huh. and a very heavy, um, not secured to the wall properly see that's where i'm that's we have plank, to go back in time plank of wood painting not just like here's a artwork it's yeah. a it's a plank of wood fell off of said wall wow. and hit me right, right just right in the noggin stitches no no stitches blood uh just no blood didn't break the skin but buddy this is you can tell that you've got some kind of it's a uh, hematoma no, no, no. What I was going to say is uh, funeral home expertise, makeup wise, because he can't see it. I mean, that was that's you've con- that's well concealed. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, I was watching a YouTube video about uh, <laughs> reconstructive uh, embalming. Yeah, for, I had to reconstruct my forehead. It's like they call uh, them the hard cases. What's that movie? Um, uh, oh, darn it! What's it about? It's the the sisters who are dead, but they end up not being dead. 
Um, it's got Swoozy Kurtz in it. Oh, the Swoozy Kurtz movie about yeah. the dead sisters. You know. Um, and there's one that she goes, I see right through you. My brother and I used to watch that um, movie obsessively. With the, uh, Goldie Hawn's got the Death hole Death Becomes Her. In yes. the middle. Yes. Swoozy Kurtz is in that? Swoozy Kurtz is in that. I remember Goldie Hawn with the hole in her Goldie center. Goldie Hawn. I thought it was Meryl Streep. It's Meryl Streep. Swoozy Kurtz is like the friend or something. I only know Swoozy Kurtz because my dad had a crush on her. And yeah, anything yeah. Swoozy Kurtz was yeah, in yeah. She, was, I, she was terrific. Um but that's me. It was Death Becomes Her. I I actually, there's a giant gaping hole in my head. You just oh, okay. would never know. But you fixed it. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah reconstructive uh, mortician surgery. So who knew? Uh, it's important to secure your very heavy yeah, well, artwork. I mean, this is how we learn. But um, <laughs> I think, so these are two, uh, two, two incidents that, that each proves the other Wrong. But I didn't even tell you about the time that the the globe from the light bulb have that I had just changed in the bathroom fell on my head and broke. Okay, so if it if you had installed the painting or installed the light bulb, uh -huh. then maybe it was waiting to fall eventually, and you happened to because you're right. there frequently. But I don't think that's the case here. I think this the number fell on you because the guy dropped it. I mean, unless you know he's looking down at you and not paying attention to his work, that is a potential problem mm -hmm. but let's just say he dropped it does he drop them often you have to wonder I, I don't i don't know is it a rare occasion and then the painting on the wall i mean it got knocked loose because of the rough housing probably right, correct. but it still should have been right in, on there and it's not it wasn't mine yeah yeah see in um in california you have to secure that stuff we have we used to have earthquake tech oh and I think they still, I think we have some. That's cool. It's just, Yeah, we would just buy little things of, it's at the Arts and Crafts store, a little sticky, um, I really don't know how to describe it, other than it's like this ball of gum, except it's clay. <laughs> yeah. And anything that was important, you would just put a stick on the bottom and stick it down. Stick it to, you'd stick it, uh, the tab, the corners of paintings to the wall. Yeah. You would stick figurines to the mantle or to whatever. But yeah, I think in this instance of this noggin bump, that... It was in the way in which one lives one life. Because if one was not roughhousing and being silly, one would right. not have had instance to knock a painting but off the wall. If the uh, the person who hung the painting had the foresight to think, man, this is heavy. I probably should put some extra well, hooks on it. I'm sure when the person put that painting up there, they didn't know me. <laughs> but now you do. Now you do. Which is why we appreciate you watching and listening <laughs> to the Krisha and Frank show. So you get to know more about Krisha. That's and what, Frank. And Frank. Because that's what this show is all about. Frank thinks he can cook a chuck roast in an hour. I mean, we did turn it up to high, but uh, it doesn't, it didn't. Do yeah, that's it a yet. minimum four hours. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we get to have leftovers tonight. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, dude. Uh, but I'm just going to stay then. I'll make vegetable soup tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Uh, that'd be fun. But <laughs> it's, it's going to be delicious, I'm sure. Uh, but I was able to carve off... It was uh, not, I mean, it was... It's supposed to you're supposed to be able to break it apart with a fork. Oh yeah. This was more like a slice of steak. All right. Well, it's but still it, fine. It, yeah, it was delicious. You're but, still chewing it, but it's fine. Right. <laughs> Anyhow, so learn more about Krisha. Learn more about Frank by uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel, please. Uh, by rating us on any of the podcast apps that you like, and listen Monday through Friday, and get ready for the announcement about something else coming to our YouTube channel. And as before soon as we long. can tell you, we will. It's coming. It's coming eventually. All maybe. right. Probably. A, well. <laughs> I don't, know. I don't even know what day it is. Today is uh, Wednesday, the 20th of July. Oh, oh, it's Inauguration Day. Jan July. 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 I wish. I get August and October and apparently now January and July mixed up. Well. It's January 20th. Okay. All right. It's Inauguration Day. That's right. All right. We so should. we should go. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Bye.